So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's video I'm going to show you two tricks that will make all your matrix shine. Let's get started. Okay, so here I have a COVID report for the Pacific countries. We're using the SDMX connector to get it. And uh, as you can see, this matrix is actually looking pretty neat. There are two things that make it neat. The first one is that the totals are at the top of the matrix. And the other one is that you can see that it is actually transparent. Look at that. So I can put anything behind it and it will make the matrix look so much better. So I'm going to show you how to do these two things. It's really, really cool. And actually very simple once you know the trick. It should be a button. Why is not a button? But now, let me show you. I have made a duplicate of that page in here. And this is how in you know, out of the box matrix would look like. As you can see, it's not looking appealing at all. Okay, so first things first, how do we get the grand totals to the top? There is no setting here, believe it or not, which is a nuts. There is no setting that would allow you to put the grand total to the top, but there is an easy way to do it if you have a hierarchy. So what I have here is a list of countries on the Pacific Islands. I do have on my location table a region that sits on top of country. So I have region and then country. So if I put region on the top, let me grab it here on the top. And then I expand, right? And then I need to format this a little bit. So if you just search for the plus and minus button, I go get rid of that. You can see now that it's looking fairly similar to what we had before. So that's the way to put is not to put the grand totals on the top. They need to fix it ASAP. So now, how do we make it look pretty? The ability to make it transparent allows you to put any background in behind and will make the matrix shine right away. So how do we do that? Again, you go to the format pane, you go to style, hold your horses, you click none, and then you go to the background and you get remove the background. Look at that. This thing now is transparent. You can put anything behind it. And this is going to make the matrix look very pretty. Look at this. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that. I don't want that. I am now going to align this a little bit so it you know goes with my background. <laughs> And now we need to have obviously another heading color. So for the column headers, I'm going to have the font color white. And then you can have maybe like a, a little bit bold or like really bold, right? So now the only thing that you need to do is get rid of the totals because we already have the totals, fake totals up there. So again, go to the format pane, now go to subtotals and get rid of the totals. And now you have the matrix as it should look like. Then obviously you have to do a little bit of tweaking here and there to get it exactly to look as pretty as this, but this is really, really cool, isn't it? So this is all for today, folks. If you want to learn more about how to trick the matrix, how to format everything, I do have a video there where I show you 20 tips on how to format the matrix. Go and check it out. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow on Corval Data Labs or on Thursday with another maybe short. We'll see. See you soon.